Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some nice guys that definitely finish last. And by nice guys, I mean guys that say that they're nice guys, but they're not actually. You catch my drift? Beautiful and quite large breasts as well, if you don't mind. Sorry. So let me guess. Borderline personality disorder? There must be something wrong with you because you're choosing not to talk to me because I'm a nice guy. I'm quack, quack. a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. God, quack. women, what do you quack. want? No, not that. <laughs> Definitely not that. Happy New Year. Are you happy, my friend? I don't want anything from you. I'm just reaching out. You're not my type. Thought you were cool, though, and would be open to being friends. Hey, loser. The five stages of grief. <laughs> Homie's having a conversation with himself. Oh man. I like how he's like, he like rejects her. Like, you know, cause that's easier, right? Than getting rejected, doing the rejecting. Once you've already been rejected though, not before. <laughs> this one has run, 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 far away, fast, fast, run, far. <laughs> All over it. Okay, let's read it. Yeah, I can be manipulative too, but in a very different way. Like I'm a trickster and a teaser, not a gaslighter, someone who cuts you down. When I get manipulative, I'm no more or less than the devil on your shoulder. I tickle out of you whatever you kinda want, deep down, but are suppressing or in denial about. What are you trying to say here? What do you mean? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> Did you just admit to being manipulative? This is his villain origin story. Girl that got hit by a car in front of Billy's last night. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 sure, yeah, sure, let's read it. I was outside smoking. You were crossing the street and got hit by a car. You bounced off the hood and landed on your feet yelling something about being indestructible. <laughs> the other night I almost got trapped in a dumpster because I was going after pizza. And I thought... <laughs> that I thought I wanted to take home with me. I've also recently slept on my kitchen floor. I think we'd be a good fit for each other. Move in with me, let's get married. Is this like supposed to sound like a good idea? Am I supposed to like be swept off my feet by that? Oh, I was digging for pizza in the dumpster and I noticed you there having gotten hit by a car. Why didn't you like go talk to her, see if she's okay? That was kind of your opening, buddy. <laughs> this is not your opening. This is weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I met your mother. That is not how anyone meets. That is not how I met your mother. That is not how he met your mother or anyone's mother for that matter. Sometimes I feel like I'm the Joker just walking around campus on my own quietly listening to the Smiths through my AirPods. <laughs> but this term, it's all gonna be different. I'm not really a people person because I have a dark sense of humor and I'm nice toward females <laughs> in a world where females only want to date jerks. Any dude that calls females females? <laughs> No self-proclaimed nice guy is an actual nice guy. But I'm a nice guy. No, you're not. No, you're not. This term, I'm gonna be making lighthearted jokes and being confident in my approach. Maybe I'll hit the gym too. First, I gotta join a new friend group. Comment down below if your friend group has a space available and this could be the start of a good friendship. I admire the dedication to bettering yourself, but do it for you, not for the females. You know what I'm saying? Do it for you, honey. Just going to say how it is. I probably drink too much and do too many drinks. <laughs> We're off to a great start. I'm really selfish and won't lift a finger around the house and will not be told what to do. I snore and fidget when I sleep. <laughs> great. I've come to the conclusion it's definitely me, not you. Well, at least you're self-aware. If you think you got what it takes, <laughs> Drop me a message. Don't expect too much from me. I don't have kids and don't want them. I will not change. <laughs> I'm looking for a female. That's down with the above. I do have good qualities too. Where? Because they're certainly not in your dating app bio where they should be. Here's, here's the tea. Here's the tea, all right? In order to get people... Okay, just come here, come here. Closer. In order to get people to like you, you have to list your good qualities, not your bad ones. <laughs> I mean, some some honesty is appreciated, I think. But also, let's not, you know, shoot ourselves in the foot, shall we? I have good qualities. 
somewhere. Can't seem to find them right now, but they're there. And this is uh, your reminder to uh, clean your AirPods. Clean those bad boys. Mine are <laughs> You wanna see mine? No, you don't. You literally, oh God. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> you don't. And subscribe. Do that. If you subscribe, I will clean my AirPods case, okay? Melanie, you strike me as highly volatile, possibly even violent. <laughs> Let's hang out. You don't like yourself, do you? I mean, he wasn't wrong. Melanie, you chose violence this morning and we are here for it. You are so mentally ill. You need psychological help. I like that about you. <laughs> you unhinged. I know. I can't put that on YouTube. Okay, let's see if you can get this joke, okay? We're gonna blur it out, we're gonna bleep it out. I, what, what rhymes with goat? <laughs> what rhymes with goat? I know you a rhymes with goat. Goat. <laughs> My bad. My bad? Yes, you're bad, you're bad. Definitely you're bad. <laughs> That was my inner gremlin. She hangs out. Sometimes she hangs out in the walls. She comes out when there's nice guys, you know? <coughs> Just to scare them off, right? Here's a nice little tip. You ever get, you ever get uh, cat called on the street, you know? Walk by some construction workers, group of dudes late at night, they hit on you. You don't ignore them, you go. <coughs> Hi. They will run. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Just act like a psycho! <laughs> oh, I've got all the pointers. <laughs> Go away! Leave me alone! Never start with the hands. Touch her in always non-physical. Give her intellectual orgasm in multiples and allow temptation to drip from her ears. <laughs> Go down on her thoughts and taste her perception. Learn her soul and she will fill the void of your filthiest imaginations. <laughs> Yucky. Yucky! Do women like this actually exist? I'm naturally an alpha male. Almost always the biggest, strongest, and smartest guy in the room. I can tell. And it gets so boring being in control, but every girl I meet just expects me to keep up that alpha shtick with them too. I like strong and dominant girls, but I just don't attract them. I give off lion slash daddy energy naturally. Please, Batman. Mm, so sad, me alpha. I am so alpha, no one understands me. I understand you, sweetheart, fully. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> what song that you can play on violin holds the most meaning to you? Mommy. <laughs> what, oh, okay. mommy, sorry, mommy. So I'm sorry, mommy? That was your plan B, that was the follow-up mommy. Mommy is not the same as daddy, it's really not. Mommy, oh God, mommy. No girl wants to be your mommy, sweetheart, we don't. That's the last thing we want. INPF, what a dog <coughs> personality type. I'm sure yours must be charming. Really? I'm the one with the <coughs> personality? All right, let's, uh, let's hear it. I am ENTP is the most likable type. Oh. My mistake, I thought you were <coughs> asshole, but sure. You on the other hand are absolute cancer. I have nothing but a hitty experiences with INFPSs. U N E N T P N E N F P annoying as f <laughs> Was that like your first exchange in messages? That was. That was literally how you opened the con conversation. You're you're <laughs> I have never met you and likely will never meet you, but your personality is dog <laughs> <laughs> Me on the other hand, I am just like a peach. People love me. You don't say. First comment says, did he just roast himself too? Yeah, wait, you and Ian, didn't you say you were ENTP? I thought you were like, are you saying that you're annoying? Cause you are, I'm annoyed reading this. I'm very annoyed. And I am an expert on annoying. <laughs> Get it cause I'm annoying. It's so annoying, Janet. 
Stop watching then, Jesus <laughs> Christ. All you have to do is stop watching. <laughs> that is your choice. Your choice. So, okay, question about the last one. Just uh, while we're on, on, on the subject. Is this like a, one of those things where you like, you, you hurt the girl's feelings in an attempt to like bring down her confidence to make her more accessible to you? Cause I hear that that's a thing. You know, in this book that I read about being a pickup artist, you know, cause I like being in the know, not for my own personal use, but to find out how to be, how to spot a pickup artist. There's actually a chapter in there that says specifically to hit on her friend to make her insecure. And that will make her want you more. I have a friend who's a supermodel and the way that she met her husband was he insulted her hair. She went to the bathroom and put her hair down because it was in a ponytail and now they're married. So is that what this is? I'll never understand it. I'm not one of those girls that was like okay with getting hit in the face on the playground. I'm pretty sure they were just hitting me in the face. I don't think it had anything to do with them liking me. <laughs> I could be wrong. Doubtful. Sometimes a smack in the face is just a <laughs> smack in the face, if you know what I'm saying. You're so mommy, it hurts. <laughs> it's like you can take care of me and make me feel safe. I don't know. Freud, onto something good. I've never been told that before. Maybe I should keep stuff to myself sometimes. Yes, you should. Do you have a mommy kink? No, I just think I have separation and neglect issues. Would you walk through the manga section of Barnes and Noble with me? I don't think I will. I don't think I'll do that. I'm sorry, that might be something you do solo. <laughs> Why don't, here, here's an idea. Go to the section and find a girl that you like. We're not that scary. Except for me, I'm very scary. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Is this what you like? Is this oh my god, you're so smart and strong. Not me, I'm so dumb. Can you like help me open this door? Is that what you like? No wonder I'm single. Text me if anything, I'll be here. Wilted Rose. Since you don't like me anymore, sorry I wasn't the one. Good guys, always finish last. Black heart, goodbye. You took a screenshot of chat. <laughs> I would too. You screenshot to make fun of me with your friend. Thought you was the one. Now you just memory. Tell my mama I love her. Hi, this is Ian's mom. He took his life two minutes ago. Did he mean anything to you? Shut the f <laughs> up. <laughs> Every day we stray further from God. <laughs> she didn't take a screenshot to share with her friends. She took a screenshot to put it on the internet. There's a difference and one is far more embarrassing. All right, guys, that's the video. Don't forget, don't put anything in a message that you don't want screenshotted.